Have you ever heard of forest bathing? No, it's not about taking a dip in a woodland stream. It's something much more therapeutic. Let's delve into the world of ecotherapy, specifically a practice known as forest bathing. This restorative, nature-based therapy takes its roots from the Japanese tradition of Shinrin-yoku, which translates to forest bathing. It's a concept that's rapidly gaining traction in England as an alternative treatment to more conventional forms of mental health therapy. But what exactly does forest bathing entail? It's much simpler than you might think. It's about immersing yourself in a forest setting, being calm and quiet among the trees, observing the natural world around you, and engaging in mindful activities. It's about connecting with nature on a deeper level and allowing that connection to soothe and restore you. Imagine the soothing effect of being surrounded by nature, the calmness it brings. That's the magic of forest bathing. But how does standing or walking among trees help with mental health, you might wonder? Well, the answer lies in the power of mindfulness and nature. In a world where mental health crises are on the rise and therapy waiting lists are growing longer, many are seeking solace in the embrace of nature. This practice, known as forest bathing, or Shinrin-yoku in Japanese, offers an alternative way to de-stress and enhance well-being. It's not just about standing among trees, it's about being fully present, quiet, and observant, immersing oneself in the natural world. Forest bathing encourages us to slow down, to breathe in the fresh air, to listen to the rustling leaves and the chirping birds. It's about engaging all our senses and being mindful of our surroundings. This mindfulness, this sense of being present in the moment, has been shown to reduce stress, improve mood, and even boost our immune system. In England alone, around 5 million people are accessing mental health care through the National Health Service. With therapy waiting lists stretching into months, forest bathing is providing a lifeline for many. There are numerous stories of lives being transformed, even saved, by this simple yet powerful practice. Imagine a person feeling overwhelmed and anxious, their mind a whirl of worries. Now imagine that same person standing in a forest, feeling the gentle breeze on their skin, hearing the rustle of leaves, watching a squirrel scamper up a tree. Their heart rate slows, their thoughts quieten. In the midst of nature, they find a moment of peace, a respite from their mental turmoil. People who practice forest bathing often report a renewed relationship with nature. They start to see the beauty in the small details, a dewdrop on a leaf, the intricate pattern of tree bark. This newfound appreciation can lead to a greater sense of peace and contentment in their daily lives. The whispers of the wind, the rustle of leaves, the cool shade of the trees, these simple things can bring a profound sense of calm and peace, a respite from the turmoil of mental health struggles. The benefits of forest bathing are not just folk tales, they've earned recognition even in prestigious circles. One such nod to its importance came when a designer won a gold medal at the Chelsea Flower Show for a forest bathing garden. This recognition signifies the growing acceptance of ecotherapy as a valuable tool in our mental health toolkit. However, it's crucial to remember that forest bathing is not a magic bullet. While its benefits are undeniable, it should be seen as a complement to, not a replacement for, other mental health treatments. Think of it as an additional layer of support, a natural boost to your mental well-being. It's not a standalone solution, but rather a part of a more comprehensive approach to mental health care. It can and should be combined with talking therapies, medication, and other forms of treatment. This multi-pronged approach ensures that we're addressing our mental health from all angles, providing the most comprehensive care possible. Forest bathing is a journey, a path to wellness that walks hand in hand with other mental health treatments. So are you ready to take a walk in the woods? With 5 million people seeking mental health care, it's clear we're all searching for ways to de-stress and improve our well-being. Forest bathing or ecotherapy offers an alternative, a chance to connect with the natural world in a gentle, mindful way. It's not just about taking a stroll among the trees. It's about observing nature, engaging in mindful activities, and finding solace in its beauty and tranquility. Remember, though, that ecotherapy is not a standalone solution. It's a complementary approach, something to incorporate into your existing mental health care plan. It's a way to build resilience, to find balance, and to reconnect with the world around us. So why not give forest bathing a try? Maybe, just maybe, you'll find it's just what you've been searching for. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Grow Junction. We are dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community.
Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.